Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and on today's episode, I'm going to show specific ways to regain your sense of smell after COVID-19. I did a prior video on this, see the link in the description, but I've had several comments asking for more specific guidance on how to treat loss of smell. And I want to continue to provide guidance about this because loss of smell may occur in up to 85% of patients with COVID-19. And while 85 to 90% recover their sense of smell in about two to four weeks, that still leaves 10 to 15% with persistent smell disturbance, which has a major impact on quality of life. Interestingly enough, loss of smell may be one of the first symptoms of COVID-19, and it may occur before any other symptoms start. Researchers have also found that the loss of smell occurs more often in younger women. Well, what can be done? While no studies have been done specifically with a loss of smell due to SARS-CoV-2 or the virus that causes COVID-19, there have been several studies in the past that have demonstrated an improved sense of smell in patients with loss of smell after a viral illness with something called olfactory training. Now this is just a fancy way of saying that you're retraining your nose and brain to smell again. I would recommend starting this as soon as your loss of smell starts. Olfactory training involves repeat and deliberate sniffing of a set of smells, commonly lemon, rose, cloves, and eucalyptus for about 10 to 20 seconds each at least twice a day for at least three months. You don't have to choose these four smells. You can pick anything that you would like as long as it has a strong, pleasing, and recognizable odor and that it won't be harmful to you. The four smells that have been routinely studied just happen to be lemon, rose, cloves, and eucalyptus. I would recommend purchasing essential oils to help you with your olfactory training. And the most effective way to use this oil is to put a small amount of the oil into a glass container and then close the container tightly. Be sure to leave plenty of airspace between the liquid and the top of the jar so that the odor molecules have a place to go. Another way is to put a few drops of the essential oil onto a cotton ball each time. Then twice a day, you'll open the bottle or use the cotton ball and sniff slowly several times for about 10 to 20 seconds for each smell. You need to wait five minutes between each smell and continue with the other scents. After 12 weeks with those four smells, if you need to continue olfactory training, one study has shown better results when participants changed to a different set of four smells. And don't give up because this study also showed that people still had improvement even after 24 weeks of olfactory training. Now, if you don't wanna purchase essential oils or while you're waiting for them to arrive, you can certainly use items around your house. Some items that would be good to use are oranges, lemons, coffee grounds, vanilla, or even mint leaves. Some items can be placed into a jar, but for things like mint, lemon, and oranges, you just need to reactivate the smells each time with a new leaf or a new orange, which could be a hassle. A great website with more information is fifthsense.org.uk. Good luck, and please comment below about your experiences with olfactory training and what has worked well for you. Thanks for joining me.